This stock has, is just tumbled. Um, initially, by the way, I think it was 20% on the one MDB news. This is now several weeks ago. You throw on what else has happened in the market and nerv nervousness about the economy. We are way under book value uh, for this bank. What do you think uh, the real liability is here? Well, look, I think up till now there's been a fair amount of smoke and not, and not so much fire. But, uh, you know, in the last uh, two months, you know, last week, uh, last month we had some uh, guilty uh, pleas uh, by, by some Goldman Sachs partners that were uh, pled guilty to money laundering and, uh, and trying to skirt uh, anti-bribery uh, rules and things like that. So, you know, that, that's, that's serious. That's significant enough. And then, uh, of course, this uh, past weekend, now we have the Malaysia authorities uh, coming with criminal um, probes into Goldman. And, you know, the liability is that they figure at least is a $2.7 billion, which is the amount of money that's gone missing from the Malaysia Development Fund, and $600 million in profits. Um, beyond that, though, I think the, the real concern is the reputational risk. Uh, you know, we also had some Middle Eastern uh, Abu Dhabi uh, sovereign uh, wealth funds that were involved in this. And any soured relationship there obviously could, could be uh, hurtful to uh, Goldman's revenues. Okay, so you could take those clients off the table. I think the larger question is you talk about the reputational risk writ large. If you are the CEO of a S&P 500 company, historically, Goldman Sachs was the good housekeeping seal of approval uh, on a transaction or uh, on the kind of uh, business uh, that you or bank that you'd want to do business with. You think that uh, in today's day and age, if uh, there's a board meeting, uh, that the board is going to look askance at using Goldman? No, I don't think this is a, a secular risk necessary for Goldman. I think there's a, a cyclical problem that's dealing with, re with the rest of the market and some of the downturn in, in market making and uh, uh, whether it's uh, you know corporate finance or underwriting, uh, that sort of thing. But uh, no, I don't. I don't see the reputational risk at the at the corporate level in the U.S. I think this is probably uh, going to be contained to uh, some of the sovereign wealth funds that have had uh, specific problems here. Okay, so I know some investors who think that Goldman at this point is now a screaming buy. What do you think well, of that? We have a hold on the stock. Yeah, we have a hold on the stock. I think uh, Goldman right now, I think, is a little bit out of sync with what's doing well. Uh, in the market, and, and if we look at the across the financial sector, and of course it, it is a pair market, as as you mentioned, as of Friday we're down 20% uh, uh, from the highs reached in, in January. Uh, yeah, but we're it's, we're it's looking in, at a stock that's off by a third basically since where it used to be. Absolutely, yeah. So you know, and, and that's what I mean. Banks like Goldman have had an even tougher time of it because of uh, their institutional focus and and some of those the, the businesses that have been doing well and and, and the margin expansion story uh, to the extent there is one is on the consumer side. Uh, consumer credit card lending and, uh, and things like that have, have done relatively well, but the institutionally focused banks like Morgan Stanley and, and Goldman Sachs have, have just not had the right, the right business mix. Do you think well there's any, any real risk to uh, senior management at Goldman Sachs as a function of all this? Well, I, th I think it's too new. Uh, the, the, I mean, the management team is, is too new. They're, they're not, uh, certainly not uh, implicated in, in anything as yet, the former CEO. Uh, well, you know, obviously in charge uh, while, while this took place. Uh, so I, I don't know. I don't think that there. I think it's too, too fresh of allegations to uh, to implicate the new man. And, and what is your read on how the Justice Department here in the United States will look at this? Uh, well, it's probably a wait and see uh, to, to see what uh, you know more is uncovered. Uh, and uh, you know, at least one individual I know is just fighting extradition to the U.S. Uh, from Malaysia. So you know, we're going to have to see how that uh, how that plays out.